It's the Texan in Tokyo show. Bing! Hi! Welcome to episode 2 of Texan in Tokyo! Yay! I'm still doing this. In today's YouTube video, I'm going to talk about horse laughing. What is a horse laugh, you may ask? I actually didn't know about horse laughing for the first two years I lived in Japan. Three years. Three years. Um, but when I was back in the States, I happened to read an article written by a Japanese girl who came to America and then wrote an article about all the things she didn't understand about America. And uh, that's kind of similar to what I do because, you know, I write about the stuff that I don't understand about Japan. Um, a lot of her stuff was pretty normal. Things that you kind of expect that foreigners in your country are going to find strange, like the enormous portion sizes, the enormous size of the road, uh, kind of the enormous everything, food, clothes, people, sports, I don't know. Um, but one of the things that she found really weird was that everyone was doing horse laughing. And I read it and I was like, okay, I don't actually get that one. And I read through the rest of the article and I got all of it. So later that night, uh, when I was Skyping with my uh, then fiance, now husband, uh, this was back when we were doing long distance. So I was in America and he was in Tokyo and um, I asked him what a horse laugh was. And he kind of was like, well, I, I don't know what a horse laugh was. And so I asked him if I did horse laughing and then I laughed and he thought about it for a second. And he was like, yes, you definitely do horse laughing. Uh, so I got, you know, really sad because I was like, oh no, what? Does that mean like Japanese people think I'm weird? And he said, yes, Japanese people do think I'm weird, but for like a bunch of different reasons, not just the laughing. And so I asked him to kind of explain what a horse laugh was. And he was like, well, you kind of look like a horse when you laugh. Or a lot of foreigners look like horses when they laugh because they like throw their head back and they're like, ha, 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 ha. and you like show your teeth and your head back. And apparently you look like a horse. So today I am going to show the difference between a horse laugh and a Japanese style laugh so that you can not stick out as much when you laugh, if that's something important to you. I tried to do Japanese style laughing for a while and then I just kind of gave up because I stick out no matter what I do and I really like horse laughing. Uh, and my husband, in retrospect, says he does enjoy my horse laughing because he thinks it's very authentic and he knows that I'm not faking it and that I'm really like, he thinks it's funny when I laugh because I get like really excited. Uh, but I can't really laugh on demand so we're gonna see how that all works out. So the important points of the horse laugh are like, at first you kind of smile and you're like, <laughs> there's the teeth, that's like a horse. And then you're like, <laughs> see, you retrospect, there's like the tilt, head and the teeth. In contrast, a Japanese style laugh, like for Japanese girls is a lot more feminine. So it's like, it's delicate and it's nicer and it's just less big and out there. It's like they're still happy, but they're not in everyone's face about it. Tilt your head a little bit, and at first they'll smile a little bit, like, mm -hmm, and then they'll cover, cover with the mouth, like, hee 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 And you know, the shoulders still shaking, they're still smiling, but if teeth are opened, they are covered with the hand. There is no horse laughing going on. There's no like throwing head back. There's no, none of that weird stuff going on. Contrasting that again to like the American style horse laugh, where everyone's like, <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> See, I can't laugh on demand. I'm sorry. I really, I'm trying. So a horse laugh literally kind of translates to horse laughing. In Japanese, it's bakawari. If you've watched any Japanese anime or spent any time around anything, I don't know, remotely Japanese, you probably know the word baka because that's what everybody uses. And baka means kind of idiot, like stupid, like idiot. And the kanji for it, like ba is horse and ka is deer. So I guess it means like horse deer and somehow that translates to idiot. I Kanji is not my thing. Um, but bakawari is like s horse deer laugh or like idiot laugh, whichever one you want to translate to. So apparently when that Japanese girl was translating um, Bakawari to English instead of saying idiot laugh because I guess some people could find that offensive if she wrote that all Americans laugh like idiots which I can understand that um, instead she wrote horse laugh like they look like a horse when they laugh and looking at the kanji that does actually directly translate so I'm not making that up maybe if you're visiting Japan or you live in Japan 
try not to horse laugh because people might be judging you. If you do horse laugh, like me, eh, people will accept it. They might like say funny stuff behind your back, make fun of your laughing later among their Japanese friends and be like, look at that crazy foreigner and they're crazy laughing and they have food in their teeth and I don't want to see the inside of their mouth. But it's also Japan, so kind of no matter what you do, you're gonna stick out. Like, you don't know the right way to do everything anyways. Embrace the fact that you'll make a lot of mistakes and that people will stare at you and you'll stick out. And then it's cool. Like, you know, so what if your laugh is weird? You're having fun and that's the important thing. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Texan in Tokyo. Hey, stay tuned next time for other topics that haven't been decided yet. Cool, and if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments section for future topics. Because I don't really know what I should cover on vlogging or YouTube videos versus like regular blogging, because I'm still gonna do both, because I still really like both, and I'll do comics, so just any suggestions, leave any suggestions. Thanks. Bye.